Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is an Acer Aspire V11 Touch. It's an 11.6 inch notebook with a uh, uh, Intel Pentium Bay Trail low power processor. It sells for under $400, has a touch screen display, and a lot of people have been wondering, okay, so it comes with Windows 8.1, what if I want to run Linux on it? Well, you can do that. It's not quite intuitive, so I'm going to walk you through the steps to do that. Uh, first, you're going to want to plug in a device that has Ubuntu on it or another operating system. This is a DVD drive plugged into the left USB port. You don't want to use either of the two USB ports that are on the back of the device because uh, it's not going to recognize those. Uh, I also haven't had a ton of luck with USB flash drives, although that might have something more to do with the way I'm preparing flash drives, uh, but it does work with the DVD drive. Now, out of the box, it's going to try to boot first from the Windows bootloader and from the hard drive. and uh, what we need to do is tell it to boot from the disk drive. So I'll show you how to get into the settings. There are a couple of ways to do this. Uh, from Windows, you can hit Settings, Change PC Settings, Update and Recovery, Recovery, Advanced Startup. Now, if you wanted, you could also just shut down the computer and sort of hammer the F2 key until you can get into the UEFI settings. Um, but I want to show you this for another reason. There's an option here that says use a device, and you would think that that would uh, sort of be all you need to do. But if you try to boot from this, you're going to get an error message saying that there's no USB uh, boot option. And so I initially thought that that was uh, the end of that and that there was no way to boot. But you can go into Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, UEFI Firmware Settings. And from here, we can restart and go into sort of an old school uh, UEFI slash BIOS looking menu, and you'll see what that looks like in a second. So here we are, and you can go into boot options, and there's a couple of different things you can do here. You can disable UEFI and switch to legacy boot mode. Um, I don't necessarily recommend doing that unless you need to boot something that doesn't support secure, secure boot or UEFI. Um, but if you're running Ubuntu or Linux Mint or a lot of other popular uh, Linux distributions, you should probably be okay here um, with UEFI. So you could disable that, but the reason you don't want to is because then you won't be able to boot Windows. So um, if you wanted a dual boot system or you just wanted to try Linux and go back to Windows, you'd need to re-enable UEFI. Um, so instead, let's go to the main menu and there's an option that says F12 boot menu. I'm going to go ahead and switch that from disabled to enabled. Now, you could also go in here and change the priority of when things boot and say I want to boot first from the CD-ROM instead of from the boot manager and so forth. Um, I find the F12 boot menu is a little bit more versatile and so we're going to go ahead and exit saving changes and now while the machine's booting I'm going to just sort of hammer the F12 key here And instead of booting straight from the Windows bootloader or giving us an error message saying that there's no DVD boot option, it should give us this screen, which says Windows Boot Manager first, USB CD-ROM second. Hit enter. And now we have an option to try Ubuntu without installing or install Ubuntu. I'm just going to try without installing. And rather than wait for the whole process of uh, having the operating system load, which takes a little while, I'll just show you. And shortly, we should see an Ubuntu menu. Right now, you just see a camera. And there it is. So Ubuntu is now loading, and we can try it without installing it to the hard drive. In order to get back to Windows, all I need to do is uh, turn off the computer, unplug the DVD drive, reboot, and we're good. That F12 boot menu, if you don't press the F12 key, nothing happens, so there's no reason not to leave it enabled. Uh, but you can always go back into the settings and disable it. Again, the way that I hit the F12 key during boot, if you hit F2 key during boot, you should also get to that same menu. So it might be a little bit faster than going into the Windows settings and the advanced restart and so forth. I mostly wanted to show you advanced restart to uh, give you the warning, don't use the boot from CD or DVD option because that's not going to get you where you want to go, at least not initially. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and a look at uh, Ubuntu running on the Acer V11 Touch. You can uh, find more details about this laptop in our complete review at lilliputing.com.